What should be my next game review? Something important, something relevant to everyone. Maybe pandemic, to show how disease spreads so easily in our super connected modern world and how we have to work together to save humanity. Hmm. Maybe risk, to demonstrate how countries can become empires with the blood of young men and women on their hands. Maybe payday, fishing for floaters. There are a lot of poo and toilet games around. I mean, really a lot. Today, we are going to focus on games of skill. And since I've been making a lot of videos about noodles this year, it makes sense to start with noodles game. Get out of my bowl. Or get out off my bowl. To play this game, First, arrange the noodles across the top of the bowl. Yeah, I know, it already makes no sense. The noodles look totally uncooked, and they're not even in the actual bowl. Croc and I have a house rule whereby everyone takes it in turns to place the noodles first. Then, each player takes turns to remove a noodle. If the poo falls into the bowl, on your turn, you lose. This is simple and pretty fun. It's a bit like Kaplunk or Tumbling Monkeys. In fact, it's exactly like those games. You have the things going across and you put the things in the top. You remove the things and hopefully the things don't fall down. Except, except, Tumbling Monkeys makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, monkeys climb trees using their tails and occasionally, I guess, they fall out. I feel like I've seen that on the BBC somewhere. Anyway, monkeys, trees, I get it. But poo? On noodles? I mean, monkeys are already in trees, you can't help that, but poos aren't normally on noodles. This isn't a relatable idea whatsoever. Who thought of this? Just imagine. So, I've got an idea for a game like Kaplunk or Tumbling Monkeys, except with noodles. Well, that's a nice idea. So you take away the noodles, and then something falls in. So what do you suggest for the thing that falls in? How about a piece of choy sam? Some tasu? Ooh, how about a dumpling? Actually, I was thinking about a pile of poo. It's not much better the other way around. So, I've got an idea for another poo game. Oh, great! Everybody likes a poo game. Ooh, like toilet trouble or flushing frenzy. Yeah, but this time it's about a pile of poo on top of some noodles. It's like tumbling monkeys. Anyway, once the poo falls, you can start a new game. I'm not quite sure what the fork and plate is for though. Let me check. Poo. 
put noodles and poo on the bowls. Bowls? Well, there's only one bowl. Removing, remove a noodle. Don't let the poo down. Number three, the loser need to eat the poo. The loser needs to eat the poo? What? Why? Actually, how? I mean, you can't actually eat the plastic poo. Not that being plastic makes it any better. And even if you're only pretending, then why would they give you a fork and plate? The fork has even got a little heart on it. What does it all mean? So, overall, this game gets three out of five poos. It's fun, but weird when you think about it. Let's do one more. <laughs> do, this time. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Is that okay? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs>